This video is about the measurement of location on the surface of the Earth. This video will cover why that matters, common measures used, and how GPS works. So why do we care about location anyways? Since geography is the study of how phenomena happens in real space, knowing position is vital for geographic analysis. So how does one measure the position of an object? Human beings learnt early on that a system to assign location is crucial to running an interconnected society. You will probably be familiar with some of the more common methods to georeference or assign position to places on the Earth's surface. Street addresses are a common way to do this. When combined with zip codes, it is possible to attribute location to most of the well-developed human-inhabited spaces around the world. As valuable as these measures are, though, they are arbitrary. Humans built cities and roads, and we assigned their positions. No inherent properties of the Earth determine addresses or zip codes. For an absolute measure of location, one needs to use latitude and longitude, which provide XY coordinates for every point on the Earth's surface. Latitude measures this north-south, while longitude does it east-west. What is the best way to measure latitude and longitude? GPS, or Global Positioning Systems, are the most common and effective way to gather data on location. Using Earth-orbiting satellites in space, GPS systems can calculate time and lat-long information for anywhere on Earth with precision and accuracy. A satellite measures position by calculating the distance between itself and the GPS device emitting a signal on the surface of the Earth. However, one satellite alone cannot calculate location. GPS needs at least three or more satellites to accurately measure position. The technique used by GPS systems is called triangulation. To understand how it works, imagine this example. Your friend invites you to meet him near the National Mall, but when you get there, you realize he didn't tell you specifically where to meet. The mall is huge. He could be anywhere. You give him a call and he starts to give you directions. First, he says he is 400 feet away from the Washington Monument. That's a great start, but he could be anywhere on this red circle since they are all technically points 400 feet from the monument. Next, he says he's 400 feet away from the American History Museum. That definitely helps, but there is still a line where these two circles intersect, and he could be standing anywhere along it. To really be precise, you need one more piece of information, which he provides. He is also 800 feet away from the Smithsonian Castle. Perfect! These three circles will only intersect at one point, and at this point is where your friend is standing. Satellites use this exact system to calculate location. A satellite accurately monitors its own position and knows the speed at which GPS signals move from the devices on Earth, through the atmosphere, and to the satellites. Satellites calculate how long signals took to travel from the Earth-bound GPS devices to them using a complex system of synchronized codes. This time information, when combined with other variables, can be used to calculate the distance between the satellites and the receivers on the ground. The devices then combine this distance information from multiple satellites in order to calculate their own latitude and longitude. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked my video.